Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to part 4 of my walkthrough series for the Ice Crown Solo Adventure fighting the Lich King, the final boss of the Ice Crown Solo Adventure. We have faced him now three times with three different classes. The fourth class will be Priest and that is probably the most boring scenario that the developers put out of their hat because the only thing that is happening is that you are not able to emote for the whole game and that's it. The rest is just similar to every other fight. There's nothing special in it in between and to clear the Lich King here with the Priest I have used a big Priest deck that is running Barns and so on, a lot of resummoning effect. Pretty pretty easy especially if you get Barns early on but even without the Barns you have so many great tools in the deck that you can easily kill the Lich King so there's nothing too fancy about the game but I will still show it to you how the deck is working out and how you can clear the Lich King with that. So here we go. Let's see what we can do against the Lich King here, starting with the Shadowbird Pain. We're dropping, of course, our own Lich King. He's uh, definitely fancy later. Light Bomb is getting replaced as well. You want to get the Barns early on. If you get Barns, the game is most likely... Oh, there we go. The game is most likely over in an instant, especially if we also get a Resurrect. Uh, let's see, Spirit Lash is good. And now he's using his cheat card, which just allows us to not use any more emotes for the rest of the game. Which just means that we are getting three dots here every time to use the emote. And there's a silence. So maybe it's just a meme because uh, he might think we are playing a silence priest. I don't know. Sitting statue. Um, this one is going down. And we're getting the Shane Gang. He's also playing the Chain Gang in this deck. And he's probably now just dropping a ghoul. There you go. So we cannot do anything besides healing or using Spirit Lash at the moment. Greater healing potion. So it doesn't matter. We're going into the barns then. Then we're getting a 1-1 one -one on the board, which is hopefully powerful. And then we need to resurrect it. That's at least the plan that we have. So let's see what we can find. That is the Isera. Okay, not bad. We're getting... Special card from the server, Dream card, which is the Nightmare. Chain Gang. Oh yeah, he's killing Sarah, and then we are just resurrecting the Sarah with the Resurrect. Shadow World Horror. Ooh, that's also pretty cool, but then we cannot resurrect. And I kind of want to resurrect. And we need to play the Spirit Lash after, otherwise there's a chance that we're getting the Barns. So let's play Resurrect first. Then we have a here on the board and we will use the Spirit Lash to kill everything um, besides this one here, the Shane Gang. And we're healing back a bit, so it's full life. We cannot really kill Isera right now. We are then getting more Dream Cards over the curse of the next couple of turns. The Sludge Belcher is fine. Um, we will then probably... Let's see, can we kill this one right now? Not really. So let's just go for the Emerald Break, kill his Chain Gang and heal the Sarah. Get another Dream Card into the hand. Everything is working according to plan right now. Got another Nightmare that's already 10 extra damage. Skeletal Knight, Water Elemental. So if we go um, into the Shadowed Horror right now, we could kill these two, but keep in mind that he will just summon um, the the six units on the board next turn because he's going for the Frostmourn. So we do not really have to play that. So we are waiting with the Shadowed Horror. Then play that on the next turn. Um, we might go then for the Chain Gang. Also, this one's getting crushed by the Shadowed Horror as well. Is there anything else we can do? Not really. So how about we're dropping this one then anyway? And we will also kill a few of the units here. Let's just leave him with the Water Elemental for now. Going here back the Drake, we are getting the Corpse Widow, we have 29 cards in hand, we're getting one from the Isera, so that's a bit of a problem. I think we will just go for the... Uh, let's go for the Silence then, let's just Silence the Water Mantle. He's getting resummoned, so the Silence is gone, but I do not want to take too many cards. We get one from the Isera, so that's why we need to play another card. Getting a Laughing Sister, so Frostmourne is coming. Killing one of the chain gangs, we will then play the Shadowed Horror. Frostmon's gone already then, and then we are just hitting the face with our YouTube creatures. And a Resurrect. Ooh, yeah. Probably we are playing the Resurrect then first. Otherwise, there is. Uh, yeah, otherwise, there's a higher chance that we're getting another chain gang. Let's play the Resurrect first. Hope to get another Sarah here. 
Oh well, we are still getting the chain gang, that's so bad. So now we are also killing this one, of course. Ah, oh, dang you. Dang you, dang you. So, gonna heal this one. Hit it, fall on the face. And now he's pushing one point of damage and that is increasing every turn. So then it is another two and another three and so on and so on. Dream. The longer the game goes, the more damage he's pushing. Cold Wrath. Ooh, drawing a card. Obliterate. Sarah's down, I think. And he's getting 10 damage in the face. Shadow Guard right now would kill the Emerald Drake. Excavated Evil. Oh well. So the problem is that he is just killing the Drake at the moment. But if you're dropping something else, he would kill maybe something else. On the other hand, I also do not want to not play anything. So how about Pop Widow and Laughing Sisters then? And hopefully he's killing, he's killing the 7-2. It's fine. We're getting 2 in the face, down to 25. Another Obliterate, which is good because it just means that he's not using the Obliterate then for the bigger targets. 5-6 with the uh, Anti-Magic Shell. So the Excavated Evil will just kill that, but we can also just go for the Obsidian Statue. And then we are healing back and we're killing the 5-3 anyway. He's down to two cards, which is not that much. He's dealing damage in our face, but because we're now getting the healing, that's pretty excellent for us. Plus, keep in mind, we could just buff this one pretty, pretty high. Um, then it's time for the uh, Lich King. Healing back, and we're getting an additional card from the Lich King, which is then the Doom Pack, a card that we do not really need right now. All in the face now with the Winter. And the Black Knight. Oh, you have to be kidding me. Killing the Obsidian Statue, so we still have the Lich King then. Taking down the 5 3. Can take down the Black Knight without a problem. Getting a Sarah here. If we go with Sarah, we are getting a lot of cards into our hand, which uh, is probably a bit too much. Uh, probably it is. Oh boy, we have currently 10 into the hand. We would need to play two cards. If we are not interested in Nova drawing, but I guess we have to. Let's just hit this one and heal the Lich King a bit. We're getting now one card from the Lich King, which is a problem. So we have then too many cards in the hand. On the other hand, our, our board right now is super strong and he's down to one card. So I think the game is decided at this point. But we will see. Winter is here, and it's oh, Blizzard. Why is he not playing the Blizzard first? My hand is full. Stupid AI, Shadow Visions. Um, yep, we will go for the Army of the Dead. So we are removing the five cards here, and if we get something, there should still be something in the deck. Oh, there's not. Damn it, we're not drawing it. Oh, uh, anyway. Then let's just heal back our Lich King. And we've currently 9 in the hand, so we're also using the Dream then on this 3-4. And 8 in the face, we're getting additional card from the Lich King. Which is a Frostmourne, great. 8 in the face, so it's down to 24. On the next turn we have another 16 that we can push. The Grim Necromancer. Okay, so Shadow at Horrod will be killing everything besides the 3-4. Shadow Sense. So we will find out if there's something left. Um, Shadow at Horror is currently pushing 7, so we're still surviving. Yeah, then let's just go for the Shadow Sense. There was something left, so the Obsidian Statue. 8 in the face. And with that, we are nearly there. Double Frostmourne now. We just go for double nightmare and the game is over. Getting seven in the face, he has one card, water elemental, it doesn't matter at all. And we can heal so much back now with the obsidian statue.